of yours. Welcome back to Ray's Way. And if you're new, thanks for stopping by. Now, on today's episode of Ray's Way, I got another project. This is my second episode installing a WeatherTech product. And today's episode will be uh, installing a bug and stone uh, deflector on the front of my Tacoma. So let me show you what we have here and we'll get this started. It's a fairly easy product. And if you want to, after this video, you want to check out my other one when I put the uh, side window deflectors on, that's a great video too. So let's get this started. Okay, viewers, let me just show you what you need here to install this. It's fairly easy. And uh, if you're going to give this like a wrench, it's like a one wrench type of thing. Because really, a Phillips head screwdriver is all you really need. You see you're going to have these uh, six clips, six um, uh, plastic washers, let's say, and then six screws. And of course, we've got some rubber bump stops. So we're, if, it, if there is a lot of wind or resistance or, or a rock comes up and your deflector goes back and hits the top of your hood, it's, it's actually hitting a bumper rubber bumper are not uh, damaging any uh, paint on your hood and so forth so what they recommend of course is dry fitting your um, your deflector and of course um, and you want to make sure it's going to fit and, and line to uh, the holes line up and so forth so if I could put this over here you know generally this is where it's going to fall out it, obviously off camera I'll play with it a little bit and just make get it in position but I'm just laying it right now so there is these six holes up here that you put these clips into and I'll show you that in a second but they want you to dry fit this first just in case that you plan on painting this to match maybe the color of your car and so forth obviously they won't take any returns that has already been painted okay so let me uh, <laughs> put this over here and then we'll show you these clips. So here are these little clips, of course. And you have these sections that it's in here. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I gotta figure out how many we got here. We may have too many holes in here compared to um, how many we have. So probably one, two on each side here. Makes four and a couple across here. But I'll look and see where they suggest those being. So. Let me do that. I'll insert these where they need to be. I'll come back and show you, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, viewer. so when you dry fit it here, it would also show you the location of the holes. Okay, so obviously there'll be a clip here, and I already put one on this one here, and then on the other end side, I put one in here as well, okay? And the other ones I still have to hit. So again, the holes will line up to where the, the, the uh, cutouts are in the, in the hood. So again, I'll be putting one here, one here one here and again one here so I'm gonna take this off real quick just place this down let me grab a clip here for you again we'll just show you again this is one of the locations and the clip just gets forced into the hole wham there you go quick and easy we'll put the other ones in and then uh, Put the uh, the bug deflector back up, and then we'll screw it in, and you're basically done. Okay, so let me put these clips in, and we'll take it from there. Okay, viewers, now that I got them all in there, they snapped in, they, they sit in there pretty snug. So in my example, my case, um, there's no need. It does say that if, the, if they slip out, they don't hold in tight. Just put some tape over it for now because once you put the screw in it, it's going to expand the clip and that's what's going to hold it in place. Okay, so now they got this raised, what you want to do is you want to take your um, screws and put your plastic washers on those and then you're going to insert them and use the Phillips. Now you don't want to use um, a cordless drill because you don't want to have too much force on that where you screw it in and possibly could crack the uh, bug and uh, stone deflector. So definitely just use a screwdriver to tighten these up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, line these up and get it, put these screws in here and then I'll, I'll show you how it looks. And before I do the final tightening it down, I'm gonna put this up and just have it on the, you know, let's say um, finger tight. Um, then I'll be able to 
close the hood and just check out the spacing see how it works and looks and then from there if there's any further tightening i'll do it at that time so let me insert insert the screws and uh hey the project's almost done other than the little bump stops so here we go okay viewers as you can see there i installed them and they're like right now they're in there but not all the way of course just in case there's any adjustments needed so what i'll do is i'll lower the hood and uh, just check to see where it fits and if there's any movement or anything that still needs to happen here okay so other than that it's, it's fairly easy um installation so let me uh, lower the hood and see how it looks and then do my final um tightening of the screws and then we'll determine where these bump stops need to be okay viewers now with the hood down and so forth you know just generally was this the first look let's say and it, it it seems to be pretty much run on point i mean it wouldn't be too much of a variance where the holes are you know it's kind of made custom to the uh, truck so i feel comfortable now to um open the hood again and uh you know screw these down uh to, to uh where they're uh, completed uh as far as the tightness and so forth so let me get this uh firmed up and uh screwed back down completely and then uh we'll look to see where we need to place these bumps these bump stops that is so um here we go okay viewers last thing i need to do is put these bump stops on and um again the instructions to tell you to put it on a painted surface in the areas where you think there may be concern of it hitting and um for the most part it looks like it's going to be on the outside here so if it does so i'm going to put one you know back behind here on this panel same on the other side and um and these two may be fairly close to each other like one on this panel and one on this panel on on the edge of the hood that way usually if something comes it's going to hit this area and, and push that back these ones here is pretty much i can get a pretty good hand in here okay and you know and it's pretty firm so it's going to have to take a pretty good hit to uh put that into the uh, painted surface so the little weaker areas the closer ones and the ones i'm more concerned with so i'm going to be putting them on these two right here you know one on this panel and one on the edge of the hood to keep those corners from hitting i'm fairly confident i'm good everywhere else and so that's where i'm going to place these things so i'll get that put in and uh well I'll, I'll show you where i put them okay viewers again what i did here it was easier to open the hood and you know uh put the the bump stop on these sides here and that's where it's um where I feel it's going to be comfortable to put that on there and keep it from hitting the paint. And again, I'll close the hood, of course, and uh, put it on the other pieces. But uh, that's basically it of my install. And so, hey, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Um, my next video, I do have some, um, we'll be taking off this uh, hood support and put in, put in, putting in the hydraulic lifters. You know, the, so... Look out for that video. Again, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We'll see you next time on Raceway.